Uh, I have to say uh, that it uh, seems to me, uh, as the Prime Minister and the citizen of uh, Serbia, that it has been uh, um, in the process since 2012 BC. Uh, you know, that's how it looks like from my point of view. It really is sometimes a very uh, difficult, uh, very frustrating process, but it is uh, the only way uh, for us. Uh, the EU is our uh, strategic priority, it's our strategic focus. The European Union as the European family of nations is, is our home. Uh, that's where we belong to geographically, politically, economically, um, and uh, we are continuing the reforms uh, in order to actually make a European Serbia. And then it will be the decision of the EU member states and the EU itself when actually Serbia becomes the EU uh, member. But our goal is to make European Serbia in terms of values, public administration, economy, uh, the rule of law, uh, as soon as, as possible. And we are uh, truly appreciative of all of the support from coming from the EU, EU Commission, EU delegation in Serbia and individual EU member states on this process of reform, which improve the quality of life of Serbia. And that really is what it's all about. Uh, I am particularly grateful to Commissioner Verhili for all of his support and really not just to Serbia, but to the Western Balkans. And I, I do not mean this as kind of politically empty words. Really, Oliver has been someone who has been and, and is always constantly in touch with all of us from the Western Balkans and is really sharing this enthusiasm with us that EU accession is, is there, that EU and EU member states are still open for enlargement despite of all of the difficulties that all of us face now during the, the COVID times.